What do you think the note says? If, do you think it was the right truck? I don't think so. I don't know. Let's read it. it says. A what are you thinking? Well, it's hot again. But hopefully, it's gonna see better now. You see my ugly yeah, mug let's, now. Let's restart it. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling? What are you thinking? It's warm again. It's been beautiful though. It's, uh, if we get a cloud over us, it's awesome. Yes. But here in about an hour and a half, it'll be nice and yeah, it will. nice and nippy again. This is what Bodie's doing out back, being a boy. You ready to goose hunt? Yeah? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, buddy. We're gonna have to get after it. Hey, I need you to drink all this water, okay? Please, let's hydrate. Pulling in. They've been bailing this field, as you can tell. They got everything in windrows. Awesome field. There's a truck parked in the field back here. Gerald was like, ah, I bet you. It's just the farmer's truck. You know, when they were, when they were actually creating, cutting the windrows here. But, God, look at all the blind material over here. That's blind material central. Just a pile of hay. Hot yet? In there. Yeah, it is. What's up, bud? you and welcome back to another one. We are smack dab in the middle of setting up. I want to tell you guys real quick over at Ducks Waterfowl, August 25th. If this is dropping after the August 25th, which it probably is, we have launched a ton of new gear. And when I mean a ton, like new uh, uh, shotgun chokes, ducks, I'll show you in a little bit, ducks, shotgun chokes, mm-hmm. Hi, bub. Grass and time. A lot to do here. Good job, bud. Good job, Bodie. That's what you need to drop, Daddy. Look at Bad thing is you gotta pull out a lot of that green stuff, don't you? He pulled out a lot of it already, I think. Did you? At least out of one. Gotcha. Yeah. Would this be nice having canvas in every field? All this cover? Sure. Yes, sir, I don't know about all this. No. You know? What? This? Oh, yeah. I think like this green grass, when it just goes natural, like, Green, yeah, it would work in Kansas. I don't know about this. Stuff. If you had roads like this, it'd be yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's what I meant with swamp. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm.
job, buddy. Hey, no, you sucker. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and my sucker. Oh, that was a good one. He just makes it fun. That's all. Sound cool? <laughs> A little bit of practice time. We're set up evening. It is 547. And we're gonna try to try to do some damage. They should be flying about 6:30, so we'll probably have about 30 minutes before we see anything. Fingers are crossed. This is me and Bodie's. Stand up, buddy. I got you. This is our last uh, hunt here in North Dakota, isn't it, Bubba? It was blowing it there. Wait, is it? Yeah, this is our last hunt. Come over here. This is our last hunt? Yeah, come over here to the camera. Right here. This is our last hunt, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Last hunt. Fingers crossed. Like this, say, give us some good luck. <laughs> give me pounders. Boom! Let's roll. Get in your bind. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you watching in there? Ryan's cheeky. You're watching some YouTube in there. <laughs> He's funny, isn't he? <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> is he that funny? Yeah. Old Bodie in his lay down blind. Seven fifty. Shooting light is eight. What eight nineteen? We got about thirty minutes. We have not heard a goose, but I'll show you the spread real quick while we have some time. And Bodie's just cracking up. At least he's having fun it's finally cooling off it was pretty darn warm not too long ago and we're staring in the sun because we have a really good east wind uh at our back so here's the spread all right so we have right at about four dozen i would say to five dozen i don't know the exact amount full bodies out same full bodies we used the uh first hunt that y'all watched uh, a few days ago but uh, looking pretty good. We have this huge body of water way out here in front of us. Sun is going down. There are some geese staying on this body of water. We don't know how many, probably not very many. So probably not very many at all. We don't know where the other ones are coming from. There's been roughly, like last night, there was about 90 in here in the evening. Three evenings in a row, they've been out in here, but like eight o'clock. So still, yeah, I know. He's going crazy, isn't he? Marbles. Losing his marbles over here? Losing his marbles. We Say all what? do at one point doing this. You all right in there, buddy? Whoa. Yes. Watch out for that falling grass all over you. But even the public down there. You having fun? Like the... Yeah. Yeah. Just chilling? Watch this. What's he doing? Oh, he's having fun. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> do <I> do? <laughs> if you can cut more. Hmm? That you can cut that more. If you get the stick a little lower down. Oh, there we go. Get to getting it, bub. Get it, bub. As it's far down, I can draw. How far can you draw? <laughs> oh, this is what it's got to. There you go. Look at him. He knows what he's he's done this stuff yeah. for. See, Cameron, he does things like dig blinds into a random farmer's field and you don't fill the holes up. That's where he learned this at. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Just kidding, just kidding. That's bro. too much work to be doing that. That is no joke. Can you imagine how much work that would be? Nope. That's pretty deep now. You can hide in there, buddy. You better fill it back in now, bub. This tractor's gonna fall in that thing and disappear. Yeah. You're pretty entertaining, my boy. <laughs> Bubba, are you covered up? Be quiet, buddy. Be quiet, Bubba. Make sure you stay covered up, please. Stay in there, buddy. Those are not geese, buddy. Hey, put that, don't lose that steak. What do you think the note says? If, do you think it was the right truck? I don't think so, I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah. So, someone tagged me on Instagram in a story and said, at Bobby Guy Films at Sand Hill Flyway and leaving a note on Dylan's truck on his, on his windshield wiper. Funny thing is, I don't have a vehicle up here these aren't really recognizable. It looks, I think it was Dylan's truck that he left it on. Still talk to him and ask. He left it on the, uh, on the windshield wipers. Is there a note? No note? No note on your windshield wiper. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Okay, there is a note. I said no trespassing. <laughs> <laughs> What'd it say? It's a good one. Oh, it's a good note? Yeah, good. Oh, thank God. Yeah, it's a Thank God, I thought it was going to be a bad note. I was waiting for it, but yeah. you did the honor. Oh. oh, there we go. Okay. All right, I can get on board with that. Let's read it. It says, a group of us guys live in this area and love to hunt birds. We are big fans. Go check out our Instagram knockdown. Yep. We are going scouting DM if you want to hunt in the morning. Hey, there's your answer, buddies. It said DM us if you guys want to hunt in the morning. Right here. Uh, Might yeah. take that up. I have no idea how you knew it was me. Like I said, I don't. I, there's no stickers. I guess it was the tag. It had to be the Kansas tag. Mm. Oh yeah. Note. We'll hit him up. At least they're cool. Yeah. You know, thank yeah. God they're cool. Yeah. Enough room. They're all gonna fit? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Blinds look good. You know? Can't blame it on the blind situation. I like have, your gotta have birds test the blinds. Yeah, you gotta, we gotta see the birds first. What do you got? I put the stick with this. Dang. <laughs> I like the new laydown blinds. You bought some good ones. Mm -hmm. Those are comfy. Uh, Just about took a nap in them. Yeah, that was good. Hi buddy. You done with that steak? You need to go give it back to him. He's going nuts. Are you ready for dinner, man? All right, don't mess up the farmer's windrows. Come on. Pizza. We're home. Is this home? No. <laughs> this is just our little hunting cabin, isn't it? Uh -huh. So here we are. It's very vintage. This is actually our last night here. Oh. Every couch, every chair, it's pretty cool. It's uh, two trailer houses butted up to each other. So they like screwed them together. Then they cut this huge door out. And then this is a huge roller door that will eventually close this and two separate parties can be in here. So kitchen, another big kitchen. But it's real heavy. I would just leave it alone. <laughs> um, I got it. Our bed's back here. This bad boy will sleep 10, no, sorry, it's got 10 beds. This is a small bedroom. Then me and Bodie's back here. This is the best bathroom of the place. 
uh, the best working and operating shower. The place is very, very old, but very affordable, and it's awesome, isn't it? We got one more place to show you. We got a couple more places. Go show them our room. Walk in there. Go show them, buddy. This is this our is, room. Yeah, this is me and Bodie's room. Well, we are back home, and um, yeah, didn't fire a gun on the last hunt, but we made the best of it. And Bodie had an absolute blast. Uh, when he started laughing in that blind watching video, so I was like, I'm just going to film him. And I'm so glad I did because uh, just capturing him at five years old, remember he's only five. Capturing those moments um, for me are precious and something that I'll be able to hold on to uh, for the rest of my life. And he'll be able to watch him when he gets older and when he starts um, taking his child, his son or his daughter hunt hunting as well. He can show that show these moments which are so special to me uh extremely special wait a long time to be able to take uh, my kids with me on a trip you know so got a few things that i want to cover real quick um i've been reading down in the comments number one people are asking what guide service did you go on on this hunt this was not a guided hunt this was just um some of us buddies from kansas that went up there and freelance that's all uh, number two, had a lot of comments about Bodie shooting. Um, guys, remember, he is only, he just turned five, okay? He is a little man, little man. He can't even actually shoulder the 410 uh, completely. It's a little too long for him still, and it is a tiny, tiny gun. So reading <laughs> the comments that say, Bob, I think you ought to get him a gas-operated 20-gauge. Why in the heck would I get him a 20 gauge if he can't even man the 410 single action brake barrel? So number one, and, and I appreciate your guys' input, but just remember, I don't know if he looks bigger on these videos than he actually is. I have no idea, uh, but he is only five and um, he's a little intimidated to, to, to shoot a bird. And at that age, you know, he'll gig frogs all day and catch fish, but, uh, some of the comments that I have read throughout this series that I enjoy are the ones going, Bob, I think it'd be a good idea just, just taking them out back, setting up some pop cans and letting them plink them with a BB gun. You're darn right. Good idea. Bob, I think you should take him out back with a 410, put him on a table and let him shoot off a table so he has a little bit more structure and relief off of his shoulder. Absolutely great idea. So I appreciate the comments. Whether they're good or bad, I guess, I'll always take the constructive criticism, but I really enjoy all of you being positive and realizing uh, that this is a very precious moment to go do these things and capture it for y'all to watch. So I'll be able to watch back on these and enjoy the crap out of them, man. I, I One of the most enjoyable trips right there. And we only shot a handful of geese the entire time. We shot more pigeons than geese, but we had a lot of fun and we made memories together. Me and my little man. I want to say uh, thank you to Cameron, Dylan, Dalton, Mason, Gerald. Thank you guys so much uh, for everything you did and, and helping us hunt and scouting. Uh, big shout out to Cameron and the boys for, for scouting, putting in the miles. Um, and thanks to Cole and Thomas for helping out uh, all the time as well and being there and experiencing all this with us. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this series. I personally did. Um, one of my favorite series I've ever done and we're gonna do more of them. Bodie's gonna be hunting a lot more here at home uh, Dove fires up in a couple days so in a few days, but Couple quick things. I'm going to get the dog the new dog judge my finished lab I go to get him tomorrow. I'm gonna film all that I have to stay with a trainer and He has to train me basically for four to six hours. So I am trained up with the new dog number one Number two, uh, pit blind, 10 man underground pit blinds getting delivered in two days. So I got to go to Missouri, come back, go do that, dig a hole, get it in the ground. It just rained last night, so I don't know what the fills look like. We got a lot of content coming y'all's way and don't miss it. So subscribe if you have not hit the notification bell. It's hunting season y'all. Smash a thumbs up while you are still here if you haven't. It only takes 0 .02 seconds. Thank you guys, but until next time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you watching in there?